What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. So I had to second up the video on Iwo Shima's JZZ30 Soar. And um, its progress is there and it's looking pretty darn good. I'm really happy how it's looking so far. Uh, so let's go ahead and show you what I have done to it. So the body has colored, the chassis is done, and the interior is also, also done. And um, I'm actually liking how this thing looks. So let's go ahead and before we get to the body, uh, let's go ahead and show you the, the, the nitty gritty stuff. Uh, we'll start off with the chassis. So again, it is a curbside kit, um, so it's a pretty simplified kit, uh, which is kind of good because I kind of need to do a simplified kit right now because the Toyota the uh, GTR mass build uh, had, they had a wall chassis in it. It kind of ticked me off. So, but this is this one is definitely making up for it for that. But yeah, it's, like I said, it's a super easy kit curbside, so it's not too big a deal. But it's a good. It's a good, good curbside kit because the engine is, you know, molded in very nicely, very nicely detailed. So, not much detail on the front, uh, but you do, again, it's a newer car, or somewhat newer car. It's the 1996, I believe, this car is. So, but it does have a skip weight, so you're not going to see much of an engine anyway. Uh, but it has the Provost, nice steering, very nice steering, actually, very loose, too, which is super cool. So, get that going. So the engine on the wheel cart is black, so but you can't see it. But I did paint it black, and the, obviously the only thing you can see is on the engine is the oil pan. So black. Transmission I did uh, silver, my bad, silver, Flaco silver, and the the exhaust I did uh, silver also, and then I exhaust stained it, uh, make it look like I had some like stains. So that is done with outclad candy colors. Uh, I'll cut it there. There we go. Uh, yeah, candy colors. So, uh, which is blue, candy blue, yellow, red, and orange, and some other and some other um, color on there. It's called hot, hot metal something. If I got the name of it, but it's called hot metal something. So that's pretty neat, and I love it. It has a straight pipe exhaust. So uh, I didn't want the straight pipe exhaust as crazy stained as the front one up here because. I'll make it like okay, this one's on here longer because the uh, you know straight pipe exhausts are aftermarket they're all aftermarket and they don't put a straight pipe exhaust on the car from factory um because i think that's legal from factory but you can do it on aftermarket um so but i do want to make it okay this has not been on there as long as the front portion so that's why the front portion is more stained and more beat up in the back um nice nice rear end detail also you got the rear uh, different differential right there and nice detail fits perfect. It's a Yoshima kit So it goes together with a Maya kit uh, super nicely detailed and up here and You know, you're not gonna see that so but yeah, very nice. I did all oh, yeah also chassis. I did body color I uh, did one coat of 2k clear and then I did some um, Dry brushing which is uh, make all these little silver accents which is like rocks sick like rocks or debris was just scrape up against the body and because, uh, you know, it's kind of like silver on the bottom of the car, so I was scraping the paint off with it, you know, the rocks are scraping against it and stuff. So, the chassis is done. That looks pretty good. Let's move on to the interior. The interior is a wonderful bit piece right here. Um, so, this is a pretty cool interior. I do actually like this. Um, it, uh, they do give you a couple options, or uh, one option, I should say. Um, or, yeah, a couple options, actually. So, they do give you a couple of options on stereo because again, this is nineteen, this is an eighteen ninety six, I believe this car is. Um, so, it, they do give you an option of um, radios. So they do, they do include a normal radio, which is a, you know an older radio, which came from factory, or they do give you this F market F market radio, which is the uh, infotainment system touch screen. So I went with the touch screen because you know kind of it's kind of like an F market mod modification car. Uh, so and the whole in there is all carbon fiber and up here also carbon fiber Meeting up the door panels with a little bit of carbon fiber also so didn't want to go too queasy with the carbon fiber um, Because this car is not really known for carbon fiber. It's just F market parts So and another thing is oh, yeah, they also give you a bunch of steering wheel options this is, There's three different steering wheel options. This is the first one They do give another one which is our which is like an arm racing one or they give you a stock one So you want to do a stock steering wheel you do have that option, which is pretty neat. Another option is they give you a racing seat. Um, this is not it. This is it right here, um, which I don't really like it because it's, it's very pointy. It's, 
really pointy. I don't really see, see pointy seats like that. So I didn't really care for that one. So I went ahead and used one of my 3D printed ones, which is looking a little better with some um, seat, red seat belts in there and stuff, and the whole back is all from fiber. So that's pretty neat. And then they also do provide you uh, the stock seats, uh, which is right here, and they do they do give you two of them. If you go back to my unboxing video on this, uh, they do give you two stock seats. So if you want to have a stock seat on both seats, you can, or you don't have to. You don't want to use the one basic seat. But I kind of want to just. It's, I've never done that before. I've never done a contrast seat for a driver's seat. I think it looks pretty neat. So, some seat belts on the back seat. Um, like nobody's going to sit back there because it's kind of cramped back there, but they're there. So, the colors is a Tamiya Sky Gray. And the top of the dashboard and the top of the door panels is a dark gray for Tamiya also. So, pretty cool contrast. I actually like that contrast. Uh, my actual car in real life has this uh, same exact color interior, uh, dark light tone on the seats and stuff, light tone on the bottom, and then a dark tone on top of the dashboard. So it's a very similar color to my real life car, which is pretty neat, which is a Toyota Camry. So that's pretty neat. So yeah, the interior, it's it's also an simplified interior, not too many parts, but it is very detailed. And then also I, I did flock it. Um, so very cool. I actually like how the interior looks. Um, let's move on to wheels. These are aftermarket 3D printed wheels with this with the kit tires. So the wheels and brakes in there are also 3D printed. So I absolutely love them. Uh, these are really really cool. So it is a three piece wheel like I mentioned. It, you got the lug nuts, you got the center, and you got the ring. So I did the ring and the lug and the you know, lug nuts uh, black. I color coded the ring. And then the um, the uh, center right there, the star center, is um, I forgot what color it is. It's, it's brush paints something green. It's a it's a Porsche green. Um, I forgot the name of it, but yeah, it is a Porsche Porsche green. I think it looks pretty neat. So and the brakes are aluminum for the motors, and then the calipers are is uh, steel. So. They just have black wash in there, so that looks pretty good. So I absolutely, I kind of want. I seen a picture on Google of this car with the dark color and these color wheels. And it just gives it a cool contrast. So because I was thinking doing black, doing all black, doing all black, but I was like, you know what? Let's do something different. I never done a you know a crazy color wheel combo before. So pretty neat. I'm actually pretty stoked on how they look. So last thing, let's move on to the body. Um, the body is a fantastic thing. This is, of course, brush paint. If you saw my painting video of me painting it, uh, this is the color I use. Uh, Smoky granite. That's the color. Uh, very nice color. It's a, uh, it's, it's a gray, it's a really dark gray. I'm not sure you can see on camera too well. You gotta be in person to really see it. But it is like a, it's a gray color, I believe, like a grayish blackish. <laughs> so, so, but yeah, very neat. So we got that whole body covered with that and all the way with 2K clear. I do have a painting video of that also with me painting the clear, which is a, which is part two. I had that video probably, it might be out before this video, who knows, or if not, it'll be coming out after the, uh, a couple of days after this video. So it looks fantastic. We got the Toyota emblems on there and it looks pretty cool. I absolutely love it. So um, on this kit, again, is a curbside kit, or not curbside, it's a simplified kit. Um, so the headlight and taillight bezels are molded into the body. So it's not too big of a deal. Everything's molded onto this body, basically. The bumpers, side skirt. So it's pretty insane how they molded all that into the body. I'm pretty shocked. And there wasn't that many mold lines. So pretty shocked at how they did that. But yeah, so the taillight bucket bezels or buckets are molded in. So I did a mouth tough chrome pen to uh, highlight that. I was going to use bare metal foil, but my bare metal foil is old and it kept breaking. So I, I got my mouth off quote pen and that worked perfectly fine. So you're not going to see it too much because obviously the crab parts are going to go over it. So it's just a ref it's just basically a reflection for the crab parts. So um, the clear red and stuff can pop better. For the headlights, I'm not quite sure. I might keep them black. So I'm going to paint them black, flat, flat black, and probably uh, do a Tamiya clear in them. Uh, for the smaller lights, such as these guys right here, and then the fog lights, I might do the mouth of chrome pen, and they're also to make it, you know, make those um, contrast and make those look poppier. So 
but yeah, the body looks pretty cool. So, we got that. The mirrors also here, her body color. So this kit does offer a spoiler. So you do have a, this massive spoiler, which is pretty neat. Um, so I'm not quite sure if I'm going to use it or not. If I am going to use it, I'm going to do the whole top portion of carbon fiber and do like a matte carbon fiber. I've never done a matte carbon fiber before. I say I'm thinking I make it like a matte spoiler would be pretty cool instead of gloss. I think matte would be a pretty cool kind of dress. But again, I'm not really sure if I'm going to do it because I, I don't know. It looks. I don't know, it looks a bit strange on this car. I worked, I worked on Google and there's not not many. There's not many people that put spoilers on this car. Uh, so I, I know I'm not really sure yet. I'm, de I'm kind of debating to use it or not. I kind of don't want to, but I'm not really sure. Let me know what you think. I don't know. I, I don't think the spoilers will be meant for this car. Uh, the, uh, the art box, <laughs> which I have right here. They didn't even put it on, so, so I'm not sure. I might not because I don't really think the spoiler works good on this car. Maybe if it's a ducktail spoiler, it might look good, but for this big old, you know, wing, I'm not really sure. So, but who knows? We'll see. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much for this update video. Pretty much gonna be a patched up effort this. So next time you see this, this is obviously gonna be final. Again, I do have a 2K clear part two of this of me painting the body, which is the 2K clear. That'll come out very shortly. But other than that, that's gonna pretty much about it. Oh yeah, one other thing. When I mentioned my unbox Monday on this kit, I wasn't so sure what the heck these things were. These are actually clamps. So they actually go on the body right here. And they hold the uh, chassis on the front of the chassis. The front chassis clips onto these. So I knew what they are now. So I wasn't so sure what the heck they were in my unboxing video. So, but now I know what they are. So those will go on once I put the chassis on. Because um, the chassis does not fit on their body with those, without those clamps. So, but I don't know, guys. That's pretty much about it. Let me know what you think. Let me know what I think about the wheel combo. I'll uh, give you a little compare. Give you a little. <laughs> that looks so cool. Let me know what you think about that. But anyway, guys, that's it. And until my next video, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye for now.